Hello everyone, today we are diving into how you can easily set up custom domain and email with system IO. It sounds technical, but it's super simple. Don't worry, I'll guide you through each step. With this setup, your business will look professional in no time. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe for more tips. Alright, let's dive into the video and get you set up. So for this tutorial, you need a domain name. If you have it, great. If you don't have it, head over to Namecheap. This is where I buy all of my uh, domain names or you can uh, you can buy from any of the other sites that sells uh, domain name and once you have the domain name go back to uh, open your system io login and go to your uh, settings so once you're in setting go to custom domain and from the custom domain you just click on add domain and this is where you need to type in your domain now what you need to do is make sure you have uh, www dot and then the name uh, domain name so in this one i bought it's earn through reviews.com right and then you click on save and once once the domain is saved it will give you uh, we'll have some other settings that we need to go through for domain to connect to a uh, system io so the first thing we need to do is we need to add two uh, c names there are two two things we need to add to the c name first one is the value and then the name so all you need to do is copy and paste this into the uh, name cheap so the first first one is first we head over to name cheap and the domain that i bought it we just click on the manage and once on the manage we can go to advanced dns and then what we need to do is we scroll down to add new records and we look for c name and the first one is the value so the value is this is the value so we copy all of the value even the dot to this and then the next one is the host is just this the three w's nothing else so just the www and then we click on the check mark so the next thing we to do is add the second c name which is this one so this is a little bit bigger so we just make sure we copy all of it and then go back to add new records same thing uh, c name and the target and the host again whatever is in front of the your domain name so in this case right up to here and we copy that and then we save it okay so once these two are saved and that's it so this is a step you need to do in order for you to connect your uh, domain name to system io now you can also what i can do is what uh, you can also go to head over to dsn checker and check to see if your if your uh, the c name that you connected is correct or not so let's let's go to the uh, domain and we can just put the domain there and search right so it's going to take a little bit time for everything to be connected and once it's connected uh, you should have all the check marks here and your uh, the custom uh, domain your domain will be connected to the system io right so now the uh, the domain is connected to system io the next thing we need to do is set up your email so your e email looks professional and they're not uh, head, uh, hitting the inbox rather than hitting the uh, spam folder we all hate uh, spam folder we want our emails to go into the inbox for that again you just go back to the settings and now you go to the emails 
before you did this you need to also get a professional uh, email so you can get that from the Namecheap and they do have private emails that you can get it and they do have a trial first two months are free so you can get it so uh, I did already that and I got a uh, trial period for this uh, video purpose and what you need to do is just go through that and then you just click on manage and you click on create mailbox and what is your na mailbox name and in this case well, I'm just going to put on support you can just put anything and then you can just put uh, just put on a password and then you just click on save change right so that's where you, right now you have this support at earn through reviews.com so this is the email that we're going to be using it now head over to the to the system io settings and we just let's see if the domain name that we put in um, it's there or not so the domain name is so right here earn through okay we get rid of this right okay so uh, in email settings you need to put uh, www right just put your domain name so again we need to add the same C uh, same step as uh, uh, the custom domain uh, C name to your uh, your domain and same again two things the value and the name and we do the same step copy and paste so we go back to the manage and then we hit the advanced dns and then we hit on add new records and look for c name and so two thing host and the target so the value and the host is this thing right whatever in the host you do whatever is in front of your domain name without the uh, dot and then you click on and you do the same thing for the next two uh, steps that we're going to use it so right so the host name the second one is this uh, okay target and the host is just remember this whole thing check mark to save it and then one more so the first the value is this put this and the host is this the name make sure you have everything correct right so once you've done that the other thing you need to do is you need to put the sender's email address in this case we have support at earnyourreviews.com sender name i'm going to put my name yoga saini and the test mail I used to put uh, personal uh, personal email address as a test mail so just double check mm. right earn through reviews dot com okay right so we made a mistake 
earn2reviews.com, Yoga Saini, and my personal email. And this is the footer. So this is what you have it once you get the email at the bottom of the email. Once the email is done, if you want to put anything on it, if you want, you can put anything on it, just like the um, uh, discrimination uh, about the affiliate links, uh, anything like that. And then, or you can leave it blank. It's up to you. Uh, I recommend that you put something on there. Uh, most sometimes I've seen people put in uh, their recommended uh, software that they're using and also the discrimination on the affiliate links um, uh, for the email. Then you have to, you know, click on this is click for the affiliate link at the end of each email and then they unscribe from the campaign. There's a link. There'll be a link there for that. And then all you could do is hit save. Uh, some fields contain so click here to confirm now let's see okay what is it so click here to confirm okay so I'm missing this step so senders email so it says support at on to reviews.com values already used so okay uh, click here to domain name you have already authentic this domain name so okay so that should be good um, everything is set up and you can hear see the domain is it's since I while doing this it takes roughly about um, sometimes an hour or so or a little bit more for the domain name and uh, to be confirmed again and uh, for the emails to go through but you follow these steps these are the steps you follow to um, get the uh, custom domain and your uh, your email to make it look like a professional and once it's it's done you'll probably have it there you know pending validation will change to verify and you're good to go